Hello, hello, my friends. I have a Bath and Body Works haul for you today. Now, this is a combination of some new Spring One candles as well as some returning favorites and um, a couple of items that I have picked up during SAS. Now, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that I typically don't film my videos behind the camera like that, like this, um, but I have had to do that a little bit more often recently because well, my weeks get busy and sometimes I can get around to filming while my children are in school, but when they are home, they are living their best life and um, I don't have my living room available to film in. So I hope this format is okay today for all of you. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that this haul video is being filmed a little bit out of order from what like I normally like to do. So some of these candles I've actually already started to burn, but I did take some footage when I initially brought them home. So all of these candles, you will see them what they look like completely unlit. Um, and a couple of them, I'm going to be able to give you a little bit of feedback so far on how they've been burning for me. So welcome if you are new. Hi, my name is Katie. As my channel name would imply, I like to talk about home fragrance here on my channel. So if you find yourself wanting to stick around for more of my content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before we end. Um, but let's go ahead and not waste any more time. Let's get into this haul. All right. So if you caught my video for the best fragrances from 2023, you will see that this one had made that cut. Pink Lavender and Espresso, she is back, and I was so excited to see her return. So the fragrance notes on this are Rich Pink Lavender. You guys, I'm almost 40, so my eyes are getting to that point where um, <laughs> I have to do a double take here. Caramel Espresso Beans and Smooth Vanilla. Okay, so those are the fragrance notes that are listed there. Let's see. I could have done that. I, in fact, I think I'm going to do that in the future. Just turn it over and read the notes that way. So yes, those are the fragrance notes. You see that this does retail for $26.95. At the time that I'm filming this, I believe Bath & Body Works is doing a $16.95 sale. And some of you have said that you have 20% coupons. So of course, these are those thick rope-like wicks. Um, the positioning seems to be pretty, pretty okay. Maybe slightly off center on that. But they don't have the metal core, and oh my word, this smells just as good as I remember it being. The pink lavender note in here is very similar to the lavender note that you get in the lavender marshmallow candle that they just had. In fact, I think there's some of them still available during SAS online. Um, and also your store might have some of them. When I was in store the other day, those candles were still only 50% off. They are showing a little bit more, well, some of them are showing a little bit more than 50% off online. Um, but yeah, you know, Bath & Body Works pricing, they're all over, they do what they want. Yes, this is just as good as I remembered. Now the lavender, lo ugh, the lavender note is more dominant to my nose than any kind of espresso. The espresso you get in here is not as strong as say the espresso note that you would get in Paris Cafe. If you caught my, um, was it my last haul video? I can't remember, I think it was. I think it was the candles that I hauled on ba um, the candle day. I talked about how I wanted to put the Lavender Marshmallow and Paris Cafe to kind of give me a similar vibe as this. Um, but this one is still just, oh my goodness, it's such, my, it's such a good one. I absolutely love it. So I was very excited to see it make a return. Also wanted to let you guys know that I did not pay full price for these candles. I had a couple of candles from SAS that I had kept my receipt on um, that I needed to exchange. They were just like some extras in my collection. I didn't include them in my Bath and Body Works collection video um, because I knew I was going to be exchanging them. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Like I had a receipt and they let me do an even exchange because you guys know I will never be that girl who says go pay full price for Bath and Body Works candles. All right, another candle in this neutrals line is Sweet Orange and Agave. So the fragrance notes, we're going to turn it over here so I can see better. Effervescent Citrus, Golden Agave, and Jasmine Musk. So we're going to go ahead and turn it over here. Okay, so you see the wicks on this one. They are a little bit closer together. I hope that won't present any issues with pooling out. All right, so what does my nose smell? I really like the citrus note in here. It's definitely like a bright orange, maybe... I want to say maybe a hint of grapefruit, but not really. Um, this is like, I like that they describe the Accord as effervescent orange because it is like that. Now it's funny, I kept smelling it and I was like, this smells very familiar to me. I won't go as far as to say that I believe that this is a repackage because there are 
uh, my nose does detect a little bit more orange um, in this fragrance, but if you liked sun-washed citrus, I think that you'll like this, this candle because they smell very similar to me. Again, I don't think it's an exact repackage, but I'm liking it on cold sniff and it does give me those vibes. There is something a little bit different to it. The agave does lend some more sweetness to it. Um, kind of like how they say like a golden, there's, I don't know, like golden to me would imply like a warmth to that sweetness. Um, it's really nice. I do like it. This is probably a candle that I will get to burning probably within the next couple of weeks here. I've, I have a lot of new candles that I've been trying to burn and get reviews for all, for all of you. Um, so this one, keep an eye out. Probably within the next few weeks, I will have a review up for you guys on that one. I'm trying to reach up and over here to grab this. All right. This one I have started burning. In fact, I started burning it the day that I picked it up. This is Hummingbird Tea Cake. Now I will go ahead and insert some footage here of what it looked like initially. The fragrance notes on Hummingbird Tea Cake are pineapple cake batter, cinnamon spice, toasted pecans. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this over here. Oh my word, you guys, this candle this is really good. You do get a slight hint of pineapple in the background there. Uh, I am not somebody who typically likes pineapple fragrances. You will also see here that I have started to burn it. Um, review will be coming up really, really soon on this one um, because I am just about, I'm about a third of the way down on this. So I think I want to give this one one more burn before I film a review on it. You can see I haven't touched the wicks at all on it. Um, but this candle to me, oh my word, the the um, the spice, like the spice cake note that I get in here is very, very similar to the spice cake note that they use in that sweet carrot cake. Last year it came out around Easter time as the Sun Bunny Loves You. Um, it's, but there's a little bit of that pineapple note in the background. So it's not the exact same fragrance as that um, sweet carrot cake. But the spice cake accords that they're using, I feel like smells the same to me. That cinnamon spice, the toasted pecans, little bit of nutty, nuttiness, and you get some of that cinnamon spice. Um, I wouldn't say that this necessarily smells exactly like a, a cake per se, but you definitely get light pineapple in the background. And like I said, I'm not typically somebody who likes pineapple, but this works. This works really well for the springtime. So stay tuned. My full thoughts and review will be coming up on this. Um, but so far, it's burning well for me. Um, I will give you that much, and it, it's really nice. I would say that if these these um, fragrance notes appeal to you and you're wanting to take advantage of the sale this week, uh, not really a spoiler alert for my candle review, but I would say yes, go ahead and pick it up. So... This one has been really nice, and also it's got that kind of like hammered lid there. All right, another candle here. Oh, yes, I actually already did a dedicated review on this. This is Almond Croissant, so I will make sure that I have that uh, review linked for you in the description box down below. I might put it here at the end of this video too, so that way you can catch up on it if you haven't seen it. So the fragrance notes on Almond Croissant are Toasted Almonds, Vanilla Glaze, flaky croissant. So I had talked about this in the video, but this candle to me, it's interesting because on cold sniff, yes, you get the almond note is a little more dominant on cold, on cold. But when you burn this candle, like I said in that review about a minute, not a minute. <laughs> wow. That would be really fast if it was about an hour into this burn, that um, flaky croissant note really takes over. This is a very savory gourmand type of fragrance. Um, and I feel like in this sunlight, you're getting a little bit more accurate representation of what this packaging looks like. The lighting in my review on this, it was, it was approaching dusk. So, um, the lighting looked a little bit different. So this is what it looks like, like in natural daylight. Very, very pretty. I really like this packaging. This is a candle that I would actually consider picking up another one of, but it, again, I'm not going to go too much into it right here because I do have a dedicated review. So if you want more thoughts, those are there, but yes, you can see how the wicks um, are looking right now. Again, I have learned not to trim my Bath and Body Works candles because I find that that helps sometimes prevent the puny wick situation. All right, a candle, sorry, I'm trying to go up and over here. A candle here that is not new, but this is one that intrigued me. So I have been looking for a good vanilla fragrance to burn alongside a lot of florals. I find that a vanilla fragrance sometimes can cut the um, 
sometimes florals can be a little bit too much for me. And so I find that if I mix a vanilla in there or a gourmand, it helps just kind of tone it down a bit. So I had heard um, a couple of other people talk about vanilla bean. And I know that I have liked um, a lot of the blends with vanilla in it from Bath & Body Works. So the fragrance notes here are Madagascar vanilla bean, homemade marshmallow, warm cinnamon nutmeg. All right. So we're going to go ahead here. I'm going to insert the footage that you can see of the candle when it was first in. This fragrance is really nice. You definitely detect the vanilla. I get that marshmallow note. Um, this is actually probably one of my favorite vanilla fragrances. Um, this is really, really good. It is that vanilla that they like to incorporate in a lot of their blends. Um, it goes really nicely with a variety of fragrances. It's very, very versatile. Now you're going to see here, you know, um, the wicks are, they're placed well, but these are the ones that are slow burners. This is a slow burning candle. And because of that, it does not really have very high projection. Um, it, this one, the, well, let me say projection. The strength of it is probably, I would say it's pretty low. I would say it's around like maybe a four. Um, I, when I do burn it on the opposite side of my house where I have been burning it, um, I would say it's a, a throw is around like a five. It, it's a low, low medium. It's not a powerhouse. This is a candle that I would honestly probably consider crocking so that way I could get a little bit more oomph out of it. Uh, my candle crock is actually currently over at my dad's house. Um, for those of you who might be new, I unexpectedly lost my father last year. And so we are in the process of selling his home. And so I have kept uh, my candle crock over there and been burning, some, or not burning, but having some candles that um, I'm kind of like trying to just get out of my collection. I've been putting them over there so that way for showings, his house smells really nice. Um, hopefully we'll, hopefully it will sell very soon. But once I get my candle crock back here, I plan on possibly crocking this one just to get a little bit more oomph because I do like the fragrance a lot, but I just want it to be a bit stronger. Um, until I get my crock back, I will continue to burn it. And even though it has that low projection, I might consider picking up another one of these. Although I think I'm going to hold out and wait until I get my order in from Kringle. I did just place an order for that new sprinkled macaroons. And a lot of the reviews on that are initially saying that that's kind of a good vanilla gourmand. So I think I'm going to hold off and wait. But if you're looking for just like a, a like a basic vanilla to kind of um, mix, then this is a good option. All right, and so the other candle here that I have to show you is from SAS. This is a good old standby. This is winter. So funny story is I actually placed a, an order online for candles the day after Christmas um, with SAS, and this was one of the candles that was in the order. Well, when my my candle order arrived, um, one candle was broken. You will know what candle that was if you saw my Bath and Body Works collection video. So devastating. Um, that was one of the candles that I brought back into exchange. Um, but funny enough, they accidentally sent me the perfect Christmas instead of winter. Now I know a lot of people love the perfect Christmas, but to me, it's a little too strong. Um, it comes off just too much for me. So I decided, nope. Um, I called Bath and Body Works. They said, go ahead and keep the perfect Christmas. And, um, they went ahead and sent me winter. So fragrance notes on winter are white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine. Um, this was a fragrance that was initially from the Slatkin era when Harry Slatkin was designing fragrances for Bath and Body Works. And I know that it has been a bestseller year in and year out. Um, I don't know why that wax looks like that, but you can see the wicks here. Um, this is one that I actually plan to start burning pretty soon. I like burning this candle with Kringle Candles Away in a Manger, Yankees Holiday Zest, um, even like the vintage pomander that just came out from, um, from Kringle. I like to burn this with like... Um, yeah, like kind of some like orange type of fragrances. Also, if you have any Nest Holiday left over, this pairs really nicely with that. So um, really glad to have this. I will probably start burning it a little bit. I don't know if I will finish it up in January, but this is a fragrance that I really love burning in January. All right, and then a couple of other products that I picked up um, body care wise during SAS. In fact, these were on the 75% off table that when I went in, sorry about that noise, you guys. All right, this is Gingham Fresh in the body lotion. Now, I personally don't really care for the body lotion. It's not moisturizing enough for my skin. I live in Arizona. It's a really dry climate here, so I prefer the body creams, but my uh, almost 15 year old daughter likes this fragrance and she likes the body lotion. So I figured for like 
it was like $4.25 that I would go ahead and purchase another one of these because we do have a full size body mist in this. And then let's see. Oh yes. One of our favorites from last summer. These were the only two left on the table. They had Coco Paradise in the body cream. So now I have two backups of these in my collection. Um, this was a fragrance that we absolutely loved. My youngest daughter really, really loves this fragrance. And so not only did I get the body cream, but then I did also purchase the full size fragrance mist. So uh, we have one in travel size. So it's nice to have a full size because I doubt that they will be bringing this fragrance back. I know that they um, launched the Meet Me in Miami. I feel like that's going to be more of like the summer vibe type of signature scent. I mean, it would be great if they brought Coco Paradise back, but I don't know if they will. So I wanted to have a backup and I figured each of those with at that 75% off price point were like $4.50. It was a great price. So that is it for my Bath & Body Works haul. Let me know in the comment box down below if you are intrigued by any of these new Spring One candles. I did also pick up, I sniffed Book Loft. That to me, if you like orange blossom neroli type of fragrances mixed with a little bit of um, like bergamot kind of fragrance, fragrances um you might like that one it did smell a little bit light to me when I went into one store but then at the other store those ones smelled a little bit stronger so I don't know what was up with that uh, maybe the way that they stored them I have no idea um what other fragrance did I pick up and sniff I sniffed um was it like the spring clothes line wasn't really in my wheelhouse I am intrigued by the um, is it the lime and blue verbena or something? There's like a lime and verbena one. Um, I might pick that one up a little bit later. Um, oh, and I liked the new Amalfi lemon. That one smelled really, really good. If you love lemon scents, that's like a good zingy lemon. It's not a gourmand, um, like cake like lemon. It's just a very fresh lemon. Um, I think you guys might like that one. So those are my thoughts. That is my haul. Let me know again if you are planning to pick up any of these. If you're waiting for a good sale, remember I always tell you guys that. Wait for a good sale. Please don't ever spend full price on any Bath & Body Works products because they are always running sales and have coupons in circulation. So please hit thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you're new. If you want to stick around for more of my content, remember I will have that almond croissant video linked at the end of this video. I want to say thank you so very, very much for spending your time here with me. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.